Hello, welcome to the Tabletop CP. Today we're heading to France, 1940, and heal 364 for a game of bolt action. So we have, uh, or I have done a poll within YouTube this time. It's the first time I've done a poll directly to the YouTube subscribers. And I uh, asked, which game would you guys like to see? There were choices were Dead Man's Hand, Bolt Action, Chain of Command, Warlords of Erewhon, and Sharp Practice. So with 288 votes cast at the time of uh, this video, Bolt Action is the clear winner with 38%. Uh, the two Lardy games, Chain of Command and Sharp Practice, both had 26 and 22% respectively. So the Lard community has divided itself. It cannot stand against Bolt Action. I have a feeling if I would just put uh, one or the other, then it might have one, or it would have been real close with uh, Bolt Action. But Bolt Action is the winner, so that's what we're playing tonight. Tonight's mission is called Hill 364. And this is going to be a custom, and dare I say, experimental mission. The reason I say that is because we're trying, or what we're going to try, I think, maybe stretching the bounds of what Bolt Action is designed for and how it's supposed to be played, but we're going to find out. But uh, anyway, that's just uh, a caveat here is I have not play tested this. I came up with it and I'm trying to balance it the best I can just from experience. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not an epic failure. Hopefully it produces a good game. But either way, it's something different. So we're going to go ahead and just give it a try, see what happens. Before we continue, I would like to just show you guys that I got the final piece to my drinking horn, which is the stand. So I showed this off last game. I got this from my friend Kat at Shield Ravens, which is a small business that her and her husband run, uh, making handmade medieval and Celtic slash ancient uh, type of things. So thanks to Kat for that. Really cool. I'll be drinking some beers out of it tonight. And I'll put the link to her site in the description. Check them out if you guys are into that kind of stuff. A lot of cool stuff there. So. With that, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and dive right into the briefing. France, 1940. As the Panzers race to the sea, they leave behind an ever-lengthening supply corridor. Cutting this corridor has become an important part of the Allied plan to stop the Blitzkrieg. The Allied forces trying to cut the corridor in this sector have been denied by a well-positioned 88 and supporting infantry platoon dug in on Hill 364. Until the enemy position is reduced, no further attempts can be made in this sector. Young and energetic, Lieutenant Doug Eaglesham has volunteered to lead the attack on the hill. British Mission Lieutenant Eaglesham's platoon and supporting assets must capture Hill 364 to close the corridor in this sector. The British can deploy infantry and artillery units 20 inches from their board edge. Armored vehicles must enter the board edge from reserves. This is to simulate the infantry clearing the way for the tanks before they press on to Hill 364. The British get an automatic quick barrage on Hill 364. Quick barrage is a special rule made for this scenario only, and it states due to limited resources, the British preliminary barrage is short and scattered. Only up to D3 pins can be scored on an enemy unit, no direct hits. To win the game, the British must secure the hill and destroy the 88. To secure the hill, they must get one unit to the top and have no enemies within three inches. German briefing. Lieutenant Vesterman's platoon must hold hill 364, thus keeping the supplies flowing to the panzers advancing to the channel. They can deploy anywhere within six inches of hill 364. Any units deployed on hill 364 can start the game dug in and hidden. The Germans must hold Hill 364 for eight turns. Now we'll talk about the 88. So I made a couple special rules for the 88 to make it a truly terrifying beast. The first one is well-trained. Having fought many engagements, the men manning this 88 are highly experienced. They get two order dice. With the second order dice, they can fire, rally, go on ambush, or request replacements from nearby infantry. They lose the second order dice when more, the ha when more than half of the crew are replacements. The second special rule for the 88 is called Next Man. The men guarding Hill 364 are part of the 88 unit and are all trained in its use. Any regular German infantry can recruit the 88. 
When an infantry unit within 12 inches of the ADA is activated, they can send a man to recruit the ADA up to original strength. The unit must pass any order test required. This can happen until the ADA is destroyed by exceptional damage or overrun. And with the second order dice that the ADA has, they can also use that to call for the next man. So the idea here is to make the ADA a truly formidable weapon, something to truly be feared by any anyone that is trying to go up against it. We'll see how it works. Maybe it's too powerful with all the uh, buffs I gave it. We'll see. Uh, again, this is sort of an experiment, so uh, we'll just find out what happens. So that's it for the briefing. Now we will quickly talk about the terrain for tonight's game. So the mat we're going to be using tonight is New Europe 2 by Cigar Box is one of our new mats that we got. And as you can see by looking at the big giant hill, it is more than capable of covering a large hill like this and having more than enough extra to uh, cover the rest of the board. Start with the hill itself. So if you're on the hill, you can see pretty much everything. You have unlimited line of sight. You can even see guys, well, well, we'll make the decision if maybe someone's tucked in a corner behind two, maybe. But the overall idea is that if you're on the hill, up from this second level up to the third level, you can see everything. Maybe not so much if you're on this first level here, but uh, definitely if you're on the first or the second or third level. There's also a couple patches of woods on the hill. There's another patch of woods here. Then we have a bunch of hedges. So these hedges are going to be soft cover and uh, two inch visibility if you're looking at ground level through the hedge. And then there are, you are going to have to um, just advance over it. You can't run, obviously. There is one road on the map, which will be useful for tanks, which are going to have to come in off of that board edge there. And then we got a bunch of buildings. These buildings are all hard cover, and then all these fences around the buildings are going to be essentially the same as hedges, two inch visibility, and only can advance over them and soft cover. That will do it for the terrain. Now let's take a look at the forces. We begin with the attacking British force. So this is the BEF. This is from the 1940 Fall of France selector. It is 1,085 points, not counting the free observer, which would add another 100 points to that. And it is 13 order dice. And the national rule that these British are going to use is rapid fire, which gives them extra rifle shots per, ex per every three riflemen in the section. Commanding the platoon is Lieutenant Doug Eaglesham and his trusty Piper Biff Robertson. Both of them are armed with pistols and they are regular. Next up we have four regular infantry sections. They are all, all identical. They all have 10 men, full strength, a Bren team, and a corporal uh, with rifle. So we are also going to have four of our patrons uh, commanding each, each section. So the first uh, number one section is going to be commanded by Nathan Tudor. He's got the black base. Number two section will be commanded by Corporal Allen Downs with the green base. Number three section will be commanded by Corporal Jeff Smith with the tan base. And finally, number four section commanded by Corporal Andrew Cox, who's still wearing his kilt. We also have two artillery observers. One is paid for, that is Robert McDuff there on the left, and the other one is the free one on the right. So two artillery barrages uh, available to hammer Hill 364. We also have one medium machine gun team with three crews. This is the bog standard Vickers medium machine gun. Nothing special there. Moving along, we have one medium mortar with spotter. So this is the two inch template medium mortar plus two pen and uh, three crew. So same thing, just a bog standard medium mortar. Moving right along, we have a Bofors. So the Bofors heavy anti-aircraft gun. It's got the four crew, and I believe it has two shots, plus three pen for being heavy, and one inch templates. So that should be interesting. And then next up, we have two Bren carriers. These are your regular Bren carriers. They have a armor of seven, open top, they can hold five men and they have a forward facing LMG. And we are going to be using a special rule for these as well. Yeah, it says Bren section. So the two Bren carriers can deploy and move as a section. They each get a dice, but when carrying infantry in infantry section, they must use both dice to move together. Once the infantry disembark, they can act independently or stay together. 
Um, I think that's in the rule book. It might not be exactly written that way, but I think this will get um, this will get us where we need to go with the brand carriers. And then finally, we have a Mark II Matilda. This is a medium tank. It has a light anti-tank gun and a coax machine gun. It is armor nine and it is slow. And that will do it for the British force. This side we have the defending British, or I'm sorry, German platoon. So this is the uh, 1940 Battle of France selector. And it is 805 points with nine order dice. So that is a grand total difference between the two forces of 380 points if you count the 100 points towards the free observer. If not, then it's 280 point difference. But this is where the balance thing comes in. How much more do you give the attacker than the defender? Knowing that the defender is going to be dug in, possibly in soft cover, which is going to be very hard to hit. So it's, it's a balancing act. And I guess we'll find out uh, today exactly how balanced it is. And we can always come back and tweak these if we want to try this scenario another time. But anyway, moving right along. This platoon is commanded by regular 2nd Lieutenant Nils Vesterman. And he is a, uh, assisted by Jens Kopke, the platoon sergeant. And both of them are armed with submachine guns. Next up we have three regular infantry squads. Each squad is identical. Eight men, an SMG squad leader, and a two-man MG-34 uh, team in the squad. We also have one veteran squad. So this is set up exactly the same way as the regular squads. Uh, they just are veterans. Next up we have one MG-34 on tripod. This is a medium machine gun team with three men. We also have a medium mortar with spotter. Regular as well. And we'll see how that works out. And then finally we have, oh I'm sorry, we have the AT rifle, another veteran unit. So I got two veteran units in here. And the AT rifle, hopefully uh, it'll be able to deal with the uh, Bren carriers at least. Or maybe make some kind of mad heroic charge somewhere on that to save the game. And then uh, last but not least, we have the 88mm Flak 36 dual purpose anti-aircraft anti-tank gun. So seven crew, it's got the gun shield, it's versatile, which means it can fire as a medium howitzer with a 3 inch template. And it has all those other special rules that I went over in the briefing. So the idea here is that this thing is going to uh, be a dominant force on the table and something that everyone's going to have to be, take seriously. Not Hopefully not just, oh, it missed its shot, everyone just moved normally, because there's always the chance that there may be a second shot. So, again, we'll see how it works. And that'll do it for the forces. Andre's arrived. He's going to be playing the part of the Germans. I'm going to be playing the BEF. Steve is also here for uh, moral, support. moral support. And uh, we have deployed. So uh, Andre's on Hill 364. Everyone on the hill is going to be dug in. And he has all of his regular sections, so one here, one here, one there. The 88 is there with a good line of sight down the road. Next to it is the MG34. And Busterman and Kopke are back there. And the mortar is back there. Where's your spotter at? Mortar spotter. He's, uh, okay, he's right there. Okay, so that is Andre's, oh, and his veteran squad is deployed off the hill over here. Meanwhile, I have Corporal Cox, as well as Corporal Jeff Smith, and I have Eagle Sham and his Piper here. So two sections with the leader and the machine gun. On this side I have the Bofors. So we can see that hill from here because uh, we can see up and up the hill as well as down. And I have the, uh, what is this here, oh Downs. Alan Downs in his section over here, along with the three inch mortar the Bofors, and I have my mortar spotter there, good line of sight to the hill. I have my free observer here, and I have McDuff, the other observer over here, both with good line of sight to the hill. And finally, I have number one section, uh, commanded by Tudor, is in reserve in the Bren carriers with the Matilda. Oh, okay, is that it? <laughs> oh, the red, the red dice. <laughs> ah. 
Um, we were talking uh, before the game here, and we're going to do a quick rules amendment. And we're going to add a different color dice for the 88. For the second die of the The second die. So there'll be a red dice in there. So essentially it's not going to be able to go twice in a row unless it pulls a gray and then the red. Right okay. after, right? Uh, well, what if I pull the red and then use the next gray to fire it? Uh... No, I think I think we're trying to keep it from going twice in, twice a, row. in a row unless okay. you happen to pull it in the right order. Okay. And that's something we did as a test. So a gray, and then if the next one happens to be the red, then then I you can to do it. Yeah. Okay. But that'll give us a chance to do some responding. Um, it will. There will be a slim chance that it could fire twice in a row, but it's not likely. And that's something that we did when we did the two order dice per uh, tank that one time as well. And that worked pretty well. So we're going to try that. That's something I should have thought of when I did the briefing. But I didn't, so that's uh, adding to the briefing now. And I think we're Briefly. done. Yeah, I think adding we're ready. To the brief brevity. Not very brief. Briefing. This is a, this has been a long intro. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're going to do now is the quick barrage. So the barrage is going to hit the hill, and we're going to do some pins, hopefully. So we'll start with these guys here. I think that's... Uh, What's well, uh, let me check the rule real quick because this is a modified version of the prelim preliminary barrage. They take two pins. One is nothing. Two, three is one. Four, five is two pins. So this uh, section here, nothing. Don't I, get, I think I get to roll two dice though? Isn't that the British rule? You roll two dice and pick the highest. Why am I thinking that? I'm asking Andre because he's the British expert. I was the British <laughs> expert uh, back when you let me play them all the time. Uh, I mean, we'll come back. That we'll, was a thing in one in a game. It might be the Soviets in uh, chain command. I don't know. We're we're way off here. So the eighty-eight. Come on, give me some pins on this thing here. All right. So that's two. No, nah, just one. Uh, four five. Oh yeah, is four two. five. Okay, Quit so cheating. the MG thirty-four. <laughs> okay, that's two. Uh, Vesterman and Kopke back there in the tree line. We'll just say that's two. Or you want to make it three? Ah, two's fine. The okay, guys up there on top of the it, hill. Make it three. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to say a direct hit equals three pins, I'm fine with that. Yep. I was thinking D3 this whole time, but all my preparation, I'm way off. That section over there, that'll be one pin. And then the mortar in the back, two pins. And I think... Did you get the machine? Oh, no, the AT rifle? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So we did a lot of pins. So the idea here is that this will let me move up, at least get up here a little How ways before. How many on the uh, Two. At least let me get up a little ways before that the was shooting starts. a lot of pins. That's some good rolling, Travis. Yeah. So there's a little secret here. We this is the second time we've done this. I probably shouldn't give away the secret, but we went through almost the whole first turn before we realized we forgot to do that. Yeah, maybe we half might, the first turn. <laughs> we thought it might make a big difference in the game because I was already getting 88 hits. So British dice. This uh, section here, commanded by Corporal Andrew Cox, has ran up along the my left board edge. Next day, British again. Vickers machine gun is following behind those guys, and that's a German die. All right. So if I fire at, uh, you'll be at minus two because you got the two pins. Don't I have to pass an you order. Got to pass an order. Okay, you so can. So it'll be minus one. Remember, you got two dice, Andre. You could rally the two pins off and then fire. On the next die, or you could just try to pass a two-pin order. You got your you got your uh, platoon leader there. Yeah, I'm up feeling to you. good. Okay. All so right. you're regular. So uh, you need a seven or an eight because of Vesterman. Got it. An eight. An eight. So you're going to be at so minus, minus one to hit. One. Okay. So needing fives. <laughs> He's going to fire with a one pin shot. It's not long range. We're going to give him soft cover just for all this stuff. So he's needing a five, and I'm not going to go down, which I'm going to He went down last I time. I went down the first time I did this. Oh, I uh, saw it. One. I okay. saw it. I had um, Eagle Sham did his snap too, so he activated himself, pulled another one in this section, so everyone's moved up to that hedge line there. Next die, Andre. British again. Oh, man. Well, I do have 13 to your 9, or 10, I guess you would have with the red dice, but, uh, okay, let me think here. I'm just going to start putting my stuff in reserve down. The two Brens, 
number one section and a Matilda. Just in case I need to go down. Uh, German die. We'll rally here in the middle. Okay. Maybe. So they got what? If I can find Oh, they're the guys with three pins. Yep. An on the fly rule. These, uh, you see, yeah, you pass an order dice. Full, uh, full command there. Uh, uh, you do. You pass because you're regulars. So Ooh. nine, nine does it. So it's taken off all pin okay. free. Okay. All right. We'll take it. Hey, look, no pins. I need a couple of failed rallies. Ah, the Ooh. 88. That's good. That's gonna that's gonna help me a little bit actually. Now again, fire at Jeff Smith's section here. Maybe he can pass an order. Yeah, he does. So this is the second 88 shot. And I'm pin free. And you're hitting on just a four. Four, four up. Yep. Not going down, huh? I can't. I already moved. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, that's a hit. That's a three-inch template hit. Uh, that's. So he's gonna hit seven. Of Corporal Smith section with the 88. Need anything but. So One but. Six with two sixes. So two chances. No. Okay. So six down. Six down. Okay, and D3 pins. That's two, two pins. pins. So I have to take a morale test since I lost over half of my section at minus two. We pass. No problem. But man, that was man. Harsh. yeah, that was damn harsh. I'm gonna lose six guys. Damn. That's what's left of Corporal Smith's section. Just the Bren team, one rifleman, and Corporal Smith. Okay. How about so 88's done? I'm pretty much out of range of everything else, and you still got all the pins. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna just fire the mortar. So the spotter, he's over there by that fence. We're going to fire the mortar at the 88. How hard is it to move the 88? It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to get up you here with I your, have uh, to go rush your tractor mortar? and then, yeah. All right. Three inch mortar. We can do this, guys. Oh, oh yes. Oh, wow. You just equalized oh. everything. That's a three inch mortar hit onto the 88. I'm gonna hit three of the uh, crew for the 88. And they do have the gun shield. And I think that uh, if you're firing, even with indirect fire from the front, I think you still count the gun shield. So that brings them from uh, four to a five to wound. Plus two, so I need threes. So I got two guys. See if exceptional damage. No. I think I might've been, might been able to take out the 88 with that. That would have been something. So I killed two guys, and oh, some pins, more pins, Andre. D Yay, three. More pins. I just got pin free. Three more pins. Uh, the eighty-eight, a lucky hit from the British three-inch mortar, now I and we're ranged in. Now I got to go take out your mortar. Yeah, here comes the uh, inevitable oh, German okay. counterattack. Here it comes. <laughs> That's the British. Okay, Germans. so Andre has moved a squad off of the hill out of its position and I think he's going for the spotter they're saying if the spotter loses eyes on to the 88 then we can't fire anymore that's you again so he's trying to make a move towards the uh, spotter but I have downs over here in his section that I can counter him with unless the 88 decides to uh, <laughs> say something about it or I think eh, 36 inch, you might be in range with your MGs uh, on that I think fence so. there. So. Ooh, whoa, Luftwaffe, Luftwaffe. It's the Luftmaffe. <laughs> Luftmaffe. <laughs> That's uh, Steve coined that phrase. Ah. And that big <laughs> and that big moth landed on the board that one time. <laughs> yeah. What's the uh, range on the uh... AT rifle? Yeah. 36. He's trying to start sniping that spotter. Uh... Okay, a small team behind cover, so in long range. I think you need a six. Oh, he's not. No. Oh, you're not gonna I do just, that. I just want. I'm just asking the question. Okay. I, I knew it wasn't gonna happen. Well, let Andre I'm just decide what he's question. gonna do. At rifle up there on top of the hill. It's gonna take a shot at Corporal Downs. So he's over the fence because he's on top. So they're just in the open. So just long range, 36 inches. There that's it is. So that's one hit. One hit, and you're plus two, I believe. So. 
That That's makes nothing. it a three. It's a pin. <laughs> it is a pin. Which they did could. put a pin on uh, Downs' section. Which could immobilize those guys. It could. It very well could. All right, next die is British. I'm going to put another unit down that's in reserve, one of the Brens. And I'm up. Germans. German squad has passed its order, so they're down to one, one pin, and they are running up to the field here, likely to counter Andrew Cox and his section. Next die, British. I'll put another Bren carrier down. Germans. Germans. Rallying the motor. Oh yeah. Insane, insane heroism. heroism. That's an insanely heroic two, motor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what a waste. Okay. British. And this will be the last thing I'll put down, which is uh, my other section that is in, uh, in reserve there. Tudor's boys. And now I need to start doing something. Purple Downs. We're going to see if we can pass an order with one pin. No! no! God dang it! It worked! <laughs> These bastards. The AT gun has ah, successfully that. pinned the AT them. rifle. Actually, I really love the AT rifle. AT? He hit this section here and then they oh. lost. They failed the, the old one pin order. Okay, the Bofors. Um, can't really see anything. So I guess we'll just take some pot shots up at the uh, 88, even 7s. Oh! oh! Here it comes. Steve, this You're is. You're not going to pull a Steve on this me, are you? did last game. He kept getting those sevens <laughs> like crazy. Nope. Don't have Steve's luck this time. Next day. British again. Free Spotter has called in his uh, Artie, Artie Strike right there. Next day. Andre, so what do you have left? You got your officer. Another section here. You're getting low on um, die. Your MG34. My officer will tell my MG34 to rally. Okay. Oh yeah. So he's down to one pin. I think that's your 88 pins. Uh oh. That's your. So he's pin free. Uh no, I think he only uh. Two oh, pins. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you pull one for passing. That's right. Yep. Okay. And he can always do one more thing too, because he's a. Uh, German officer, so you could uh, activate one more so thing I could if you have it. My last die. You could do these guys. So then yours is the last, uh, okay. is the green one. Yep. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the end of turn one. Uh, in our, we have a house rule: the free spotter gets pulled, his dice gets pulled once he does his thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll and see if the barrage comes in. Ready, Andre? Yep. One. <laughs> oh, it is a scatter. So it's... Oh, damn. Shit, what is it? We'll have to look that up. 3d6 scatter it is. Oh. That's going to probably miss everybody. So that's 12 this way. Yeah, that's over in those trees. Hey, Luckily, those guys moved guys out of the way. <laughs> they must have a psychic in the squad. Got a bad feeling, guys. <laughs> you always say that. <laughs> Um, so then it's a oh d6 plus six width. d6 plus yeah. six. So on a good so roll, I might still be able to get to, these guys. Maybe. Oh Ooh, yeah. yeah, twelve. Okay. Well, actually. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get, get them. Oh damn! Just it just wound up getting three different units. Holy cow! Wow. But Did not, not see that coming. But not the gun. Not the 88. I'm... It's a good thing for you. Is that they're already getting ranged in by the three inch mortar. Uh, but okay. I really Let's see what happens. Want these guys getting pinned down. Start with uh, this squad right here in the open. See what happens to them. Oh man! So that's D three pins on those guys. Three pins. Ooh, three so pins. Three pins. Next will be that AT rifle on the hill. I think that's just D three pins as well. Yep. Three pins, and then the section next to the AT rifle on the hill. D3 Man. more pins. I uh, just a one. Pin. Okay. okay, that's not too bad. A heavy howitzer hit would have been nice, but whatever. Okay, next die, Andre. Our first die of turn two. British. British. Well, Downs. Do you think Downs could do something this time? 
Downs is going down. Or does he even want to? How many pins do you got? You got three pins on the 88. But you do have the two dice. So you could rally. You remember, you see so you're down two crew? Yep. So remember, Andre, you can recrew it yep. with the dice. I don't even think what I want to do. Maybe I'll just fire the uh, motor again. That's probably the smart thing to do since I'm arranged in and I still have line of sight. I will fire the motor again. Okay. Um, so this is... Okay, so you're rolling to... Oh, you know what we didn't do is you're considered down when you're dug in. So really you should have halved, uh, halved your casualties. Oh, I was just going to say I was considering going down right now. That would quadruple or double the effect of going down. So it would be... You'd be One losing a quarter, yeah. Um, Would you like to go down? Oh, uh, here we go. So Andre's not going to go down. And Travis called it. He's going to roll a one here. It's quite possible. <laughs> <laughs> I know when the ones are coming, man. You uh, know that by now. You, you called it. You called I it. I always call the ones. All right. It's a good thing you didn't go down. So that's uh, German dice. Andre's veteran squad passed its order, and he's going on ambush, which. I realized after, or before he did it, I thought, oh, I should have ran up there and fired at these guys. Too late now. That's a British, okay. British die. Brought the Matilda in. It ran on the road. 12, uh, so it's slow, but it still was able to do a 24-inch move on the road. Running on the road, doubling. Road runner. Yep. Okay. Corporal Downs. Corporal Downs. Now that we have something for the... 88 to shoot at. I think I might uh, have Corporal Downs. Come on, guys. You can pass this order, dudes. Oh, yeah. Finally. To it. Okay, they got their act together. We're going to move up. Downs has made it. The Bren, two rifles got within two inches of the fence. We're going to fire this squad with their three pins. And the green dice are going to be the Bren. And that's just going to be moved. And the other one's going to be moved long range. So it looks like... Uh, one hit with the Bren, and one hit with the rifles. And you are regulars in the open. Got one. So one man killed, and another pin, more importantly, which brings them up to four. Well, four pins, and a man down. That's going to slow them down at least a little bit. Those four pins are going to be rough. Next die. That's you. That's me. Andre rallied the... Uh, yeah, he, he ran. Almost insane heroism, and I couldn't remove three... Uh... <laughs> on the AT rifle, yeah. Nice. Rolled the one on his uh, D6 clearing of. That's um... another German die. Andre's going to fire the machine gun from that section on top of the hill over at Corporal Downs. So Long that's range be soft fives. Uh-oh. Two, two hits. hits. And needing fours to... to... Wound. Now, why'd you roll four? I mean, you said, didn't you get two hits? <laughs> yeah, but I killed three. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You're not even drinking. What do you mean? I got a caffeine free soda right over there. There you go. Oh, you got one. Okay. So put, uh, take a rifleman out there, Andre, and then uh, put another pin on them, please. Okay. Actually, I already did. Okay. Next die then. And you're up. These guys here, Jeff Smith section, failed their order. To, so they're going to go down there. Still shaking up about that 88 hit. German die. The MG34 on tripod is now going to fire at Downs behind the fence. Oh. Uh, you needed a One. five. Yep. One hit. I got a hit. Long range soft cover. But another pin. So he's up to three pins now. Two. Two pins. Okay, next die, Andre. Maybe we should let Steve be a bag man since he's just standing oh, there. Exactly. Yeah, there we go. Then that will give Andre more time to There's think. No sleight of hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's true. I just lost my biggest advantage. The red dice won't. Those dice. The red dice won't magically come out after the next uh, gray dice if Steve's uh. pulling. Uh, the Bofors here, wherever it is. Oh, there it is. He is just going to fire back up at the 88 again. Or, now if I write the MG34 uh, on tripod next to the 88, how about that? Still needing sevens. Double six. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. No, I was going to fire, I'm sorry, I was going to fire at uh, these guys because they're not in the soft cover. So okay. I didn't need sevens. 
I need sixes, so I got one hit. Pensions. One dead. How did you intend to do that? No. Well, there's no point in shooting at the guys in the trees when there's guys not in the trees right next to them. So you're hitting on sixes instead of sevens. I think it's still sixes, isn't it? Because you're down, long range, down. Yeah, so it's sixes. Red dice, that's the 88. And in reality, um, you let me off easy because that was a one inch template on the Bofors, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is a one inch template. I forgot about that. Okay, so I did get a hit. So two guys. And it's a plus three because it's heavy auto cannon. So two dead then. So I gotta take out another one? Yeah, and then D D two pins for this one. This one pin. Yeah, thanks, Andre. So you let me change targets mid roll <laughs> and you told me about the one inch template. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, I remember after the last time I shot at that, I'm like, why am I shooting at that for? I got easier um, hit, easier targets up yeah, there. Yeah, well, so I can either blow up these guys or blow up the Matilda. Well, you can't blow up anything with the three pins. You got to pass sure the order first. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll rally. Rally the 88. Okay. Yep, here you go. <laughs> Got a seven. I saw the six. So, I thought, oh, so that's D, bad. D six more to go. And two. Woo. Yep, you're all pin free. Pin free. Free as the wind. Next guy there, Steve. That's Andre again. Oh. But you're not going to let me. Uh, I think we said no consecutive uh, yes, turns. Did. But I'm totally. Fine. But really, it would, I don't think it would make it a whole lot of difference here. No, uh, no, never mind here. Andre is going to have the German motor. Drop around onto the bofers over there. Is it a six? It is now. Nope, not a six. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it. All right, next die. That's the British. So Lieutenant Eagle Sham has ordered himself and Andrew Cox's uh, section. They swung around this way, staying clear of two inches of this from the ambush there. And we are behind the barn, so we're saying the barn is going to block line of sight if you're behind it to the 88. German die. Andre is going to use the uh, command from that section and he's going to send a man over to help the 88 out. British die. British die. The Brens with number one section have come in behind the Matilda. So Andre is going to get his Tau railgun. Is that what it is? Yeah. And it has that rule where it just goes through everything. They never actually had line. that rule. I thought they did. No, it was. Uh... That was a, I thought that was your it room. was it was it was a thing that was uh, kind of out there on the uh, on was. the web, but uh, no, it was never a, an actual real thing. Well, it would be cool here because you go right through that Matilda and right through both Brens. Okay, rallying. Okay, I'm gonna counter rally. <laughs> so D four five. Oh damn! All pins pin pin free, free over there. All right. Okay. Yeah, have I got anything left? Oh, I got my officer. I think it's all Travis at this point. Nope. You got two dice. Man. Two dice. McDuff, my other, my paid for spotter, he's going to call in a smoke barrage onto the 88 right there. Next die. Germans. We Going for the Matilda. Come on, armor. So you're just, uh, just three up, right? Uh, okay. I don't think, I mean, these tree, I moved that tree, I think that was over there. I think you have a clear line of sight right down that road. A three! Okay. So you're a super heavy anti-tank gun. Woohoo! He's a seven, I'm a nine. Two plus does something. Oh man, that's a triple hit. Or a... Double... Double... Double whammy. Double pen. So I roll two pen hits. Yep, and this could be it for the Matilda. Yeah, he's toast. Matilda's dead. That's what 88s are for. Yeah. They were good at that. Killing Matilda's. Okay. Next die, Steve. <laughs> Actually, uh, the rest is you. My officer is just going down or removing shock. Okay, so I got three left. And then Vesterman's got something to do. Yeah, there's the Matilda. That's what happens when you drive straight at a dug-in 88. Um... I have three left, and I don't even know what they are. One is the section in the Matilda. Bofors? The Bofors already went. You don't have a die on it. 
but it already shot, remember? Okay. Um, these guys went, he went. Oh, you got your down sections in the... Uh... Yeah, that's one section though, it's not two oh. dice. Uh, my mortar went, what the hell do I even have left here? Oh, my uh, Vickers. So my Vickers is advanced up here to cover this hedge in case these veterans come around this way. I think that's it for me. I don't know why I have so many extra dice. But uh, yeah, so that'll do it. So we'll come back with turn three. Turn three, uh, Matilda, rest in peace. It's got a great view from up there though. You can almost see the whole battlefield. <laughs> I got to roll for the smoke barrage. I need a four, just a four. All right, so the smoke it. barrage is gonna land right there with a five inch template. And then we'll roll at the beginning of every turn to see if the smoke dissipates, or I think it might even drift at one point too, but for now, at least we have block line of sight to the 88. We have successfully blocked line of sight to the 88. And we are ready to begin. So Your that is Silva answer. will be happy to hear that. Yeah, it would have been hap happier if we did it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Next die. You want to let the British roll? Or oh, yeah. No, no. Just oh, start pulling, so, Steve. <laughs> start pulling. <laughs> Thanks for you not reminding me. You heard him. <laughs> now we pull a die. The Germans. The Germans. It's 9 to 11 now in the bag. The tripod machine gun is going to fire again at Corporal Downs and his men along that fence over there. Got a hit. Got a hit. That's a pin. Yep. You're up to like four pins now. Uh, Only three. And a dead. Ooh. So you got a guy killed and another pin. So they're up to three. Okay, next die. Oh, the 88, the red 88 dice. So, start blowing, guys. <laughs> um, okay, indirect fire. Can't see anything. That's okay. We're just randomly pop a shell off. Okay. We'll uh, fire. We're we're not going to move. We're just going to fire right where we did. <laughs> Railgun. Next die. Andre can really do nothing now. Another German die. Is charging the mortar spotter with those guys there. So, oh, we're gonna go simultaneously. Um, I'll just roll one. Okay, I got one of you. I guess you could totally whiff. We'll make him roll it. He could completely whiff. Not likely, but okay. So I lost that guy. Okay. And that's it. So next day. That's the British. The mortar, we're gonna fire at those guys that just killed our spotter. Oh, uh, they didn't kill him, he just ran off. Uh, whatever happened to him, he's not there for spotness anymore. Nope. Hoping to get lucky there, since I can't see anything else. There's really no point in not doing that. Germans. Germans. Squad on the hill. Doing they something. are. So, we are now pin free. That's five shots back on those boys. Back it downs, all right? That's Ooh. three hits. Three hits. So I roll five dice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a pin. Okay. That's well, clear I'm gonna be rallying those guys. All right, Steve. Hey, look at that, there's a British dice in there. We're gonna rally well, with downs. Actually, I mean, I could fire the uh, AT, rifle. AT rifle at them, potentially, but. I think you're saving that for the friends. I really wasn't planning to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just see if we can rally downs. Yes. So D6. Almost insane. That means you're only removing one. Four. Ah, got them all. Pin free. Good job, Alan. Way to rally the boys. Germans again. Mortar. Mortar shot. It's Ooh. a miss. Near. I forgot about the mortar. I should have dug the gophers. I got lucky. Yes, you that did. was a mistake. I should have done the gophers. Okay. We'll shoot the gophers. <laughs> okay. Uh, just a fort. Just for the light cover. Okay. Right there in front of me. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot up here now. I got just a bigger checking, threat. Just checking. <laughs> I freaking missed with both shots. Wow. Ah. That was oh, quite the whiff. Yeah. That was a horrible whiff. Okay. Um, Bren's kind of jammed up behind the Matilda wreck. So I just did one pivot and drove up nine. And I'm going to fire my light machine gun at that AT rifle up there. Leading sevens. 
Uh, not a damn not thing. So much. Okay. Next die. Got the AT rifle firing at the Bren. Uh, nine. nine. That'll nine. that'll get a pass. Yeah, because he's a veteran. He only had one pin, right? Yeah. It's a hit. So you're at plus. You're over. You're at plus one because you're over half range. Okay. So we'll, um, and I'm a seven. So I need a six. Nope, just a pin. So pin on that lead uh, Bren carrier. Over here I have this section move advance this way. They're off ambush now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire at them. I got a Bren and I think four rifles I can see. Is that what I said? Five rifles. So that's nine shots. Is that right? And what I say needing fives because it's moved. I am in regular range, but then soft cover for the hitches. So fives, two hits. That's a pin, though. Kill a couple vets. Got one. Oh. oh. Okay. We'll take out the machine gun. Really? Yeah. Why not? Because that's just not nice. <laughs> so minus. One machine gun and uh, and add one pin. Next die. Germans. Andre has pulled back with his vets. He's going back to the hill, which is probably a wise move. Although I think staying up here would have not been a bad idea either. Well, I'm thinking the uh, smoke's going to blow off as soon as you come in uh, up to the head. <laughs> well, uh, uh, yeah. It's possible. I think I have to roll a one or something. We'll, we'll I'm check okay that. with that. German dice. Again. 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 Uh, officer will go to Vesterman. Or Vesterman will, and he can activate those guys to go on ambush. So pull another die. Yeah, as long as you're within six, you can do that. Okay, so they're on ambush. Yeah. Next die. Uh, British dice. After you put them on ambush, I think you had one thing left. Uh, uh, the 88. 88. So it's all doing good. nothing. And the rest is my stuff, so I'm going to have the Vickers. Eagle Sham's going to have order the Vickers to run around. He's here now. He moved himself up. I still have Jeff Smith, who got hit by that 88 earlier. What am I rolling two order dice for? What the hell is that going to do? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving lots of good orders. I think they were both in advance, so that means I can move twice. A six? Yeah, we pass. So we're going to lose one of these, and we'll be able to finally move these guys. That'll be it. Jeff Smith's men over the top here. I still got first section in the Brens. Downs is uh, free and clear of pins. And I got a base of fire here. These veterans pulled back. There's still smoke. So we move on to the next turn. So top of three, I got to roll for the smoke. Okay. If I roll a one, it, the wind just blows it away, and I'm going to be in big trouble. No, so it drifts. It does drift, though. D6 in a random direction. Yep. Okay. So two inches this That's direction. Pretty <laughs> it's pretty much going to leave it. It's like, oh, hey, suddenly we got line of sight to the two Actually, uh, yeah. carriers. <laughs> hey, we got line of sight to, uh, yeah. Maybe okay. your bow first. All right, then first die there, Steve. Come on, British. Oh, you said you just think yourself. Do I need it? Yes. Oh. I'm going to fire the bow first. I can't move it, or I guess... Uh, I'm trying to decide if I if we if we can. I'm like that. You've got an inch and a half gap there. It does have the wheels. And when you pull in the uh, stabilizer, <laughs> you're actually an inch and a half. So I would say you could actually fit through that gap if you wanted to. Nah. I don't. I'm, this is all happening real fast. We don't have time to lift up the uh, out outriggers and all that. So we're just gonna fire at the guys in front of us. They're gonna go down. Going down. Uh, we got one hit, though. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I needed a six, didn't yeah. I? Damn. AT rifle back at the Brent. Okay. It's another hit. So I need a six to glance. A six to glance. Yeah, because you're still in the same situation as last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll glance. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, then it's minus three on the damage roll. So one, that just means it takes two, two more pins. So three, three pins. pins. Yep. Zero and then he goes four. down. He has to go down too, I believe. 
so he can't do anything. Wow. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it says that if, if you fail an odor test, you go down, or you don't move. So I'd have to pass an odor test with this guy because he has the pins and they're a unit. So I'm going to rally them to see if I can get those pins off. Yep. No. So that's one down. Okay, there we go. We're pin free. But those guys are done for the game or for the turn. So hopefully next turn they can get a move on. They're supposed to be halfway to the hill by now. They are. German die. <laughs> they are halfway <laughs> to the hill. I mean halfway up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna have the squad on this on the hill shoot back here at downs behind the fence again. Um, ah! Ah, we caught a break that time. Next die. Uh, Germans. We'll try it. Okay, this time with the tripod mounted. Uh, three hits. They are regulars. Got one down and they got another pin again. Next die. So they're, uh, they're the only ones really trading fire at the moment. British. Vickers will now fire, shoot the gap here, and we're going to fire at those guys. So it looks like long range to me. Soft cover, so fives. I got uh, one hit. That's one pin. Oh, oh damn. Could we do another one? No, another dead. There's two veterans down. Germans. Germans. I'm just going to drop another mortar shell on the poor Bofors. He didn't afford it this time. Oh, he got him. Woohoo! So that'll probably hit, what, everyone? <laughs> it's a two inch <laughs> template. And they're pretty close together. I mean, they're all sitting on the same gun. Well, so I'm sure that's all of why them. Why don't we say three? I mean, just because you got them all modeled, okay. hugging each other. All right, but then. Actually, uh, yeah, on the gun, it's. Anything but then. The so regulars, you're at plus two. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's what I get for being Tough a good guy. first, uh, but you do D3, D3 pins. pins. Yeah. So, oh, one down and one pin, but you are zeroed in. I am. Which you were going to get there eventually. Well, it, uh, yeah, I was taking my time. British. Eagle Sham. I should move him over too. He's coming where, with these guys. Where are you shooting from? Right here. I'm shooting at these guys. It's going to be four shots with the Bren, which is in normal range. So the green dice is going to be the Bren, and they're needing fives, and then the rifles are needing um, sixes. Okay, three hits. Three hits on the vets who are at one pin right now. Let's see if we can get another no, we're one. At two pins. Two pins. <laughs> Even better. No dead, but another pin. Okay, so Cox and Eagle Sham are moving up on the left flank. I have a feeling they'll come you in. You got anything else over there that hasn't gone, gone yet? Um, these guys, Jeff Smith and what's left of that section, number three section, which has been hit by the 88, but that's it, that's it for my left flank. He tried to pass an order with his veteran squad and failed. British. What do I have left? Oh, my mortar that can't see anything? Well, I guess I can still see those guys. <laughs> I'm hitting on a five now, right? Yep. <laughs> That's all I can see. Or is it? It's going to take me too long to... Well, I could reposition down a little bit, then I could see the hill. And we'll just take a shot. Let's... Why not? Boom. Boom! But they are down. Yep. So it's going to hit... It's a two-inch template, so I could probably get... Three. three of them. So half of that is what, one? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got one of them. And then D3 more pins. So two more pins and one dead. That one pin. Uh, yeah, if you didn't have any pins, you have one now. Alright. German I lost die. a dude. I'm ready to just put this section here on ambush. British die. I guess that's going to be Jeff Smith with his one pin. He's going to advance up. We'll have to see if we pass an order. <laughs> now that I've moved, of course I'll fail it. Nope, not this time. 
they're going to advance up and we're going to fire up at the guys up on the hill up there. It's time to start getting in the war and doing some shooting. So one, two, three, four, six total shots. Yeah, I forgot about the Six shots. So I'll, have, I'll fire at your, um, at your machine gun. Okay. Probably sevens. So this is again the same thing. I'm going to be hitting long range, moved. It's going to be sevens either way because I moved. So yeah, back onto your guys there in the uh, in the tripod MG. One possible. Nope. I'll spring my Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, or my ambush. I think you can only do that if I move. Oh, I did move. Okay, you could have done that before, really. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So that's five shots. All right. Uh, I think that's a hit. Long range, soft cover. So yeah, it should be two hits. Two hits. Two hits on Smith. He, uh, two down. Roll that six again. Might just be Smith by himself running the hill. Nope. Two down. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be down a man on the Bren. So I'm down to a soul Bren and Smith by himself. The poor Smith has been... Poor Smith section has gotten decimated. Another German die. Ooh, red on ambush. <laughs> Here I thought dropping that smoke in there was going to be my free free ticket up the hill. It is. If I can get uh, my, my officer will rally. Vesterman is going to just encourage the men. Hold the hill, we gotta keep this corridor open for the Panzers. And I still got Downs hasn't done anything yet, huh? Because they went down when the Bofors fired. So Downs, he's got one pin. Okay. We'll see if we can pass the order. Yeah, we, Ooh, can. we did. So Downs passes the order. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Downs fire up at the squad on the hill, not the AT rifle, because that would be a seven to hit. I can hit the squad on sixes. So four shots from the Bren, even sixes. No, no hits. You got our attention. This is bullets zinging over. Can't see anything though. That's all that damn smoke. Die. What do I even have left? My mortar went, my bofers went. Officer? Officer went. I think I'm done there. You got another <laughs> So well, I'm game. done. Oh my! You know who it is? Is my spotter here? Hasn't he's gonna move up? He's gonna try to take the hill. He's just gonna jump the hedge here, and then we're gonna. <coughs> he's gonna go for the hill, McDuff. <laughs> <coughs> okay, and then uh, that's it. Andre, I just got one more. I'll fire my AD8 yeah. again. Okay. And I don't have anything left that I can think of, but we'll count them up, get the dice organized, and be back for the next turn. We have turn four here. Um, Another roll here for the smoke. It just stays where it is. So we've neutralized the 88, but the uh, rest of the platoon is definitely more than enough to hold the British off, especially when I'm coming in not very well organized. <laughs> it's kind of all over uh, the place. Before we... Um, I was going to leave those guys down, because don't I pull oh, yeah, D3? D3. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, put it down on those guys. You can give Travis that first one, but... Okay, so D3 pins off the vets. Yes, they are down and pin free. Pin free. And then the first die, then. British. Okay, Bren Carriers. Now's your time. We're going to haul some ass. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Tudor and one section have flat out, straight ahead. We're going to be at the mercy of the AT rifle, the 88s, but we got to get something going here. So we, we might get lucky. Another British die. Corporal Cox and his men have run up to that hedge. We need to start putting some pressure onto the hill a little bit. A two two section attack with two Brens. I don't think it's going to get it done. <laughs> Two sections separated, two of them in Brens. Yeah, I guess be... we uh, fire the 88. It's going to take a miracle. All right, he's firing the 88 at the Bren. So taking a pop at that lead Bren. Okay, hold on. Lead Bren. 
the 88. This is where we need the dice gods to intervene, and I need a whiff. Uh, no, no whiff. It's a almost hit. a near whiff. It's a near whiff. That was a near whiff, <laughs> Travis. Ah, <laughs> uh, the 88. Okay, so anything but really. No, <laughs> it's a butt. Dice gods so it's a does pin. just a pin. Yeah, it goes right through. Nice, right through the bren. But it is a pin. Okay, that's. I'll take it. I was expecting a dead Bren and half the yeah, section like that. <laughs> Germans. Both yeah. first. You know, three. No, I need a. <laughs> it's a whiff. You know, thing bust. That's two whiffs on Andre. The dice uh, gods are goodness. giving me a glimmer of hope. Hey, the 88. Let's oh, God. try this shit again. <laughs> Another whiff. Come Another on, whiff. No, it's a hit oh. this time. Or still a hit. All right, anything but. <laughs> that was a butt. Oh, damn. So it is a penetrating hit, Didn't right? Because I'm only a seven, you're a seven. So roll a d6, see what happens to him. Uh, he just takes Shit. a couple of pins, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some tough brands. So we take two more pins. So we're up to what? Three now? Okay. So get, you just get one dial? Or they each get a dial? Uh... I think it's just on that one. Okay. But it's essentially on the whole unit. Remember last time I think I rallied the unit with the you other did. guy. Yeah. Which I'll probably do again. I don't know if that's how it works, but that, these what are kind of custom the rules guy. for these. Uh, well, let's pop them again. The AT, AT rifle now. I think these guys might be caught a little flat-footed with this charge. Oh! <laughs> A heroic charge <laughs> by Nathan Tudor on it. section number one have, well, no, I still got to clear the whole hill off of Germans. <laughs> and with one section, that's not going to be easy. Germans again. The section is going to fire now at the Bren, just to put a pin on him. Um, but the Bren section rule, I can still Three rally hits. with the, the other one. Sort of like the 88. Wait, not as good, but similar. Next day. Next day. So I'm up to four four pins on that Bren team. Bren carrier team. Another machine German die. The, the MG34 on tripod. We'll, uh, actually, can we drive your Bren off? No. That's a chain of command. Okay, another pin. So I'm up to five now on the Brens, which means a rally is in order. Which you've got uh, two chances to rally one. Yeah. Well, you can also get a first die next turn. Yeah. Um, and I think you're pretty much done shooting at him. Yeah. Well, no, because uh, Vesterman could pop up here and take some shots oh. at him with his SMG. Wow. Um, all right, let me think what I want to do here. I used uh, Eagle Sham. It's up and at, or whatever it's called. Come at me, bro. What the hell is it called? <laughs> Forgot now. Snap 2. He's, he ran up here to join Cox's squad. And then he had the Vickers hop over, and they're now here. And they can see the top of that hill over there. So hopefully they can get some fire on them next day. British. Um, hey, the Bofors. Can I move it now? <laughs> I suppose. I got one pin, right? Uh, you got one pin. Okay. I'm going to pass in order. Maybe. Yeah, just... Woo. And I'm going to fire again up at those guys on the hill. The same guys I shot last time, the easier guys. So I'm needing sixes. Okay. And this is on the, the section. Got one. So that's a one inch template again. So that's what, two guys we yeah. said? And this is going to be anything but two down. So I'm a plus three and you're a four. Yeah. And then D2 pins, two pins. So that uh, Bofors is doing pretty good. Next day. And two pins? Yep. British again. So I'm going to have Downs. He's going to fire at those guys over there. Andre's contemplating if he wants to go down or not. Because I am in normal range. I'm going to be hitting him in the open with nine shots. Andre's going to stay there and he's going to go down. Well. He's going to go down. He's going to have no choice to go anywhere. <laughs> but that's going to take me from threes to fives. Uh, one, two, 
one, two, three hits. Which is what you would have had if I had my bonus. Yeah, because I got all one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't kill anyone though, but I just put another pin. So they're only at two pins, but they are down. But you put them down. Put them down. British again. I'm going to move my mortar. My three inch mortar has just advanced this way so that he can get some eyes on the hill and start firing directions to the spotters too. British. Another British die. Another British? I think all I have left is uh, Smith. I got the guys in the Brens and I got the other Bren. So I'll have Smith see if he can pass an order. Nine. No, he fails. So he's going down. Okay. Next die. Germans. Andre's going to have this section fire at the Vickers. He is in range. Uh, soft cover, long range. <laughs> uh, one hit. <laughs> the point of shock. <laughs> you got one hit. So uh, roll a d6. See if you can take him down. Nope. Just a pin. Nothing but a pin. Next die. Very <laughs> British. Uh, the Bren will rally with the other guy and see what the hell happens here. Oh! Yeah, what am I? I rallied, so I landed on a rally, so that means yeah, it. that's a six. <laughs> that was a six. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, four down. So I still have some. I you still have some? some. No, you have one. Mm -hmm. That's not some, that's one. I'd rather have none. British, Another yeah. British. That's the guys inside the carriers. They can't do anything because they, they ran. What the hell do I have left? Oh, my spotter guy, yeah. He's just going to run up to these trees here. McDuff. And then Andre got the another die. Is this your last one? Yeah. I was just thinking, I don't think we you've been doing the... Uh, I think you're supposed to track your uh, other guys separately, and you should be rallying them separately, but it's oh. all kind of the same. Yeah, it's well, I mean, my, huge... the idea was that the Bren would be... The Bren section would be sort of similar to the 88 and that but I didn't really specify that but I could uh, I can rally him no we it, I, I we're, need to we're rally good up him. to here but uh, yeah when we uh, start putting we need to so we should be tracking the uh, team and the vehicles with separate uh, pin markers right that's true yeah okay um, so the next time we do a, a brand section we'll but, make a rule that says that if you pass a rally everyone included is uh, it's it's not that big clear. of a deal because the guys inside obviously aren't doing anything other than rallying every time. So. Yeah, but I could have failed one of those. Yeah, but then you probably would have caught it on the next one. So. Yeah. Well, I did take. They they should have quite a few pins on them, like yeah. seven or eight pins. <laughs> but so I would have had to rally. Yeah. Well, I, I would I would have had multiple chances. I just wasn't doing it. Um, but you wouldn't have had the two dice. You've only got the one dice for them, so that would have possibly made a difference but anyway we're it's all good I yeah just one dice just, for two units that just occurred yeah. to me so it's a little confusing um actually yeah who's it's can pop up and take a shot can't he as long as you can get in front of your guys uh sermon and cocky have moved up to the edge there and they're gonna fire so you can get some pins on the the Bren, so yeah, he gets a pin. Okay, so another pin, I'm at two again. So two on the uh, carrier, one on the guys inside? Well, one on the carrier and one on the guys inside. Well, yeah, but so you got two there and one on your dudes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I got the guys in both, so. Well, yeah, but they're, okay. or do we track them? No, that's fine. They're just one section, and uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna get that far in the weeds. The whole section's got a pin. The whole section will rally together, and I think no that's it. The so next turn. Empty. Next right, turn. Please please turn five. Five. And we'll roll for the, the smoke. smoke. It just stays put. Like, I think I want the smoke to just stay there. Right? <laughs> I don't think we have a choice. It's uh, blocking uh, all those shots. shots. The attack. The attack. Okay, okay, so, so now, now I have to do, do the rally, rally thing. thing. I got, I got two, two pins. pins. Mm. Yeah, because I'm just going to start taking a bunch of shots again, right? So I need to rally. Yeah, let's rally. I guess we'll rally the Bren. Or do I fire 
the Bofors again. I've been having pretty good luck with that. Hmm. I'm just going to go straight to passing in order. A two pin order, so I need a seven. Because if not, it could get ugly. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get as lucky as I got last turn. Let's just put it that way. So we pass. Okay, so one pin for everybody. The Brens have moved up and we turned and we're going to fire at uh, these guys here, I guess. There are the seven, it'd be sevens if I fired at the AT rifle because it's a small team. But I'm still needing sixes with everything to hit the squad. It's pretty wild. So the first Bren, uh, nothing. The second Bren, got one hit. And one dead and a pin. So that section's up to what, three pins now? Oh. Yeah. And then they lost a guy. Next, uh, three guys with three pins. One more they break. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can get out of the Bren. So I got to pass an order, right? Because yep. they have a pin. They do. Nothing to it. And we're going to pop. Number one section, Nathan Tudor out of the Bren Carriers. Tudor and his boys have gotten out of the Bren. We made it to the top of Hill 364. And we're going to fire at the AT rifle. So we're saying we're point blank. So I moved. We're not going to give him the down anymore since I'm right there with him. But he is still a small team. So moved point blank would be a three and then back to a four. Still a four. He's going down. Oh, he's going down too. So, yeah, I think I'm needing a six then. That doesn't seem right. That seems like an awful lot, doesn't it? What are you giving so me? So I'm a three. Yeah. Point blank. Two. Small team. Three. Down. So fives. Five. Okay, not sixes. Okay. There we go. There's one. So I got what? Two? Two hits on you. Two. Two on me. They're veterans. Got one. So one down. One pin and a morale check at minus one. I think you do have Vesterman within six. So. Uh, that's a two. I think you're good. Even if you roll six, you'll make it. Okay. Next uh, <laughs> guy. I can't believe that first section made it up there. And getting all these British dice in a row is helpful. definitely helpful. Eagle Sham. He's well, going to activate Cox's boys. So he's assaulting also? Yeah, but I'm going to start with um, the other guys. Okay. So he does not get any reaction fire because he's within six. Well, or I'm, uh, within, I'm within six. Well, on your first assault. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's just see what happens. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. I only got three of you. Okay. Okay, so, so you lose take out three. three guys, yep. So we'll do three rifles, and then roll your sergeant separate, since he's got an SMG. Okay. And you're only needing fours. Perfect. <laughs> They're wiped. Veteran squad is wiped. And I get a D6 consolidation. Hey, one inch. All right, well, I'll just spread out. I just have a feeling Andre is going to just charge me right back again. But I did kill the veteran, so next die. Oh, you can lose a die, Andre? Yep. Yeah, it is. Veterans. First. So our pincher movement's coming in. Damn. Now I'm the one getting all the dice in a row, which is probably better to have it now than when Andre had it. Hmm. Bofors over there behind that tree, but we can't see the whole game is going to fire again at that section uh, in the open, well, not in the open, but not in the trees again. Uh, needing sixes. Not this time. Next day. Sheesh. Did you put your dice in here, Andre? No, I got them in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might explain some of it. Okay. Now I'm just again going to fire at these guys. Might as well. He's going to go down again, though. So I'm needing fives again. One, two, three hits. This time needing fours. Got 
got one of you. So another dead and another pin. And these trees are just always in the way here. So he's down to four guys with three pins. All right, uh, next next die, Steve. It's got to be an Andre dice this time. I don't think he's had one yet. <laughs> Talk about a free turn. Um, <laughs> all right, that Vicar is over there behind the hedge. I'm going to see if I can pass an order with them. Yes. Uh, we're going to fire at them. They're on the hill, so uh, you can shoot over the guys if you're shooting up the hill. I'll shoot on the high part of the hill. But then they already shoot. The Vickers? No. No, I never did. I wound up shooting the Bofors. Mm -hmm. um, I passed the order, and now I'm needing sixes. Not a damn thing. Okay, then. I'm almost done, I guess, there, Steve. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot left to do. Yeah, two more. Two more. I don't even know what it is. Andre. We're going back at the Bofors. Okay, hey! We got him. He hit it. I hit it. So we were saying I was getting three of those boys. Yep. Hey, I actually got two of them. Okay. D3 pins. One pin. <laughs> so I have to take a morale test. You're down to one dude. Morale test with two pins? One pin. Oh, I had one before, I think. Oh, no, I passed the order. Okay. Uh, oh, they Not fail. so much. They just run off. The one guy, I guess he couldn't handle it. Yeah, one guy on the, yeah, loading, aiming, shooting, uh, you know, <laughs> I've had enough of this. Maybe we'll go find another bow first. Is this fire yet? Or, uh... No. Um, he hasn't, well, no, he did. He actually, fired. I fired every, yeah, I'm down so to Smith and my, and make all I have left. Um, I'll just pull one of mine out. Are you still pulling dice or? Yeah, Germans. I pass an order with that section on the hill. No, I do not. Yeah. Even with Vesterman? Not with three shots. Oh, yeah. They're shocked. These are Luftwaffe guys. They're not ready for this kind of stuff. Okay. Germans. Um, so the, uh, what's his name? Vesterman. Vesterman, so... And Kopke. I guess... They're going to come out. We'll just... Vesterman and Kopke have popped out. They're going to fire it. Number one section, anything but, so that's four hits. Needing fours to wipe them out, or hopefully not wipe them out. Four fours. Yeah, I've got fours. two of them. Two down. Next day. Should be all Andre from here on There's out. Two more. Two oh, more, the 88. Two more British dice. The 88 will. Went on ambush. <laughs> hey, Rich, Actually, can, I, can I just leave them on you ambush? Hit the machine guns over there. You can hit the gas. You could probably, yeah, you could hit. You think I can hit that? You can see downs over there. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay. You could take a 88 shot at downs because the smoke has drifted. Slightly. Okay. All right, go ahead. Don't miss anyway. On the first shot, at least. Germans. MG34 is going to fire at downs. And that was six, not five. Yeah, you one. So one, one hit, yeah. one hit. One hit. So another pin on downs. If you can take someone down, no, just a pin. Next die. British Smith here is going to again try to pass an order. He does. And he will fire up at your MG34 on tripod, even though we need sevens, but... So it's like a minus one to hit if you're down to one crew, right? I think that's how it works. Or is that minus one shot? I can't remember. Needing sevens. Whoa. Whoa. What are you trying to I think I've touched him, man. Ooh, a hit. A hit on the MG. Good job, Smith. See if we take someone out. No. That would have been sweet to get exceptional damage and take out the MG34 <laughs> on some wild random shot. On a seven? <laughs> <laughs> seven yes. sixes in a row. That's what Steve was doing to me that last game with the Japanese and the Russians. Man, he must have rolled like, what, four, five, sixes in a row in one sequence? <laughs> That's pretty remarkable. I think it was three. It was two sixes three times. I'm just going to run McDuff over there. <laughs> the there he goes. 
And then the rest is all Andre. So what do you have left? You still um, got those that section there. Got them. I've got two British. Another dice. Another I can't be possibly be two British dice. <laughs> oh my mortar. Well, you got both. Uh, oh no, I've, I've done everything. Well, you take them anyway. I could have I've done everything. Okay, Andre, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'll fire at those guys again. With what? The uh, 88. Okay, 88, back it down. <laughs> another hit, another miss. Another hit, miss? Another hit, miss. Next and die. And so oh. these guys, um, am, am I... Did you stay six away from me so you get covering fire, or...? I don't think I can because I already activated anyway in this turn. Okay. I charged. So I should be able to just come up and vaporize you. Maybe. Three, six Very guys. Lucky. Andre with... It's down to six guys. I know one of them was uh, went back to help crew the 88 to full strength, but he is going to charge. Well, maybe. Cox's six. So I possibly. need, what, fours to... Fours and fours. They were both regulars, so it's... You would roll in. You would get to attack first. Whatever so I'm I have left, take I would out, attack. But I'm only going to take out three of your guys. You're still going to come back at me harder than I went at you, so why bother? That's seven. Because it's fun. Yep. And then the gun crews run down. Because you could get lucky. Yeah, no thanks. Um, <laughs> so we'll uh, shoot at you. So Never told me the odds. Okay, that's, then shoot. Uh, five and four. And you got an SMG sergeant in there as well. So that's one more. So you're at uh, five for the machine gun. We got a loader though, don't forget. Got ten shots. Okay, and that's probably long range for the SMG. So the SMG's different. Got to be fours. I guess are you within six? So we'll measure it. Yeah, see what you might. Are you within six? You might be within six. Mm, which one's the? It's the guy in the very back. Yeah, but the guys, if they're in six, they're hitting on plus one better. Six. So hitting on twos of the machine guns. So five hits. Five hits, okay. And I'm just regular, so fours to wound. Got two of them. And a pin. Same damage, just... Uh... You saved all of your casualties by just shooting. Yeah. If you would have charged, yeah, you're right, I might have won. Or you might have wiped me out. I couldn't wipe you out. I've only got six dice. You could wipe me out if uh, if I rolled shit and you rolled. All you got to do is roll more hits than me and I lose. You were rolling. The odds were that you would do better than I would. Right. Because I was only taking Never out tell three. Me the you're odds. still rolling seven back at me. Are we? Do you have anything left? Um, I'm going to shoot the 88 again. Hey, it finally hit. <laughs> It Too hit bad, the uh, target. Okay. All right, that's it. So next turn. So this might be it. I know I said eight turns in the briefing. It's getting late here, and uh, I don't know. Maybe by the end of this turn, we might have a uh, idea on who might win this one. First die, British, perfect. And I have a <laughs> I have a pin though, don't I? You do. Mm -hmm. You really need to fail this one for me to make the sweeping victory here. No, Not so much. First section is going to charge Vesterman and Cocky, who are in those trees. You can't see them. But I am going to charge. They're the hardest target on the board for me right now. So I, if I can't beat these guys, then I can't possibly win. So we might as well just see what happens here. Eight on two shouldn't be a big problem for you. Right. But we are going simultaneous since you're in cover and you're tough fighters. So you could do up to four for kills here. So I got to not whiff here. I got to get two two fours. Okay, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> but you get to do two tough fire attacks back. Oh, it's two hits. And two more. So oh, three. You got dead. three. That's not bad. Yeah. And I'll consolidate five inches. At the end. Uh, Tudor and first section have uh, advanced towards the 88. We're down to four guys. And then another British dice has come out. Five guys. Um, five guys. Okay. Not as bad as I thought. How about one of the Brens? So I'm using that dice to... I don't want to do that. Is there anything better I could be doing? You're clearing the hill. I mean... Yeah, we'll do it. 
Uh, I'll fire the Bren LMG at that MG3014 there. Moved, I think within six, but you're down. Damn. Fives. One hit. One hit on the machine gun team. Nothing but a pin. Next dice, Steve. See if we have the British dice come out again in first, like last turn. No. German die. Let's get the chart. Uh, the remnants of that squad that were in the bunker there have passed their order and they're going to charge into number one section. So we'll be going simultaneously again since we're all in cover here. If I had five left, yeah, but I'm hitting you from behind. Wait, you still got your tough fighter, right? I do. Okay. And he hits. Okay, so one dead. Two yeah, dead. Two dead. Three, Three dead. Let's roll those two sixes again. One's down. So three down, including an exceptional. So I get my five back, and I got three. So we each killed three. We both. So you wiped me. So you're done. Okay. I got three guys. All right, and then I lost three. Man, what do I even have left? Oh, roll your exceptional. Di or you already got I did. one, right? So you're gonna so take out. I can take out the machine gun, I guess. First section down to two men. Next die. They're up there. So we got a full 88 crew, an MG4034 or whatever, and that section there. Okay, right here, I'm going to try to pass this order. This I have to pass this. We do. I'm going to charge the 88. I think. Oh, Cox's boys are going to charge the 88. We're going for it. This is a straight up fight. Seven against my eight. And since he's in the cover or whatever, he's going to go simultaneous. Eagle Sham also came out. So he's going to attack. So here we go. I am needing fours against the 88 crew. One, two, three, four. And you're very average. I need to be above average. One, two, three, four. I was. So we both got four. Four on four. So we fight again. So I lost four. four. So I have four left. You have three left. Yep. Uh, they're right. all dead. And then you got two more. So I'm down to two guys. But we have wiped so the 88. The so Andre's going to... So I'm down to what? Two guys, I said? Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Well, we'll leave Cox as one of them. Okay, next up, no, Eagle Sham never got to do his attacks. <laughs> okay, what's up? Now Andre's um, going to assault these guys? or Actually, we're just going to shoot those guys. Just light them up? Yeah, they are pointing. Just we're going to stay in our cover and just but. light them up. So, that's what... But Corporal Cox and his men have the distinction of just taking out the... Well, they took out the crew. So really, if more German forces were to show up, they could just get back on it. But still, three. It's a lot of hits. Uh, all hits. All but one. All but one. Yeah, because you're within six. Oh, so point blank one. open. Yeah, so nine they're, hits. Yeah, they're dead. Unless you have some kind of weird epic failure, but well, <laughs> okay. no. Yeah, let's get roll. All right, another down for me. Next die. So all I have left up there is Eagle Sham. I got what's left of first section over there. And my Bren carriers. Okay. I'm gonna have my three inch mortar direct fire shot onto the MG34. If you miss, is there like a one in There's a four drift. chance you hit your guys? <laughs> I missed. I think I would have had to roll a one for that. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, next die. I had three shock on something. The British again. Uh, Bofors did. Ah, probably guys got wiped out. <laughs> well, I really well it was know. under that smoke, mm -hmm. which McDuff has run up behind the Bren carrier. He was thinking about assaulting the AT rifle, but they're veterans. Uh, die, Steve. It's bloody. I mean, I'm down to hardly anything. That's the Germans. Well, this MG, the uh, M, it's hard to see anything on this board. There is a machine gun there. <laughs> He's gonna fire at Eagle Sham 
and Biff Robertson. Needing anything but. So one but. Oh no, you need butts. Or uh, anything but a two. <laughs> <laughs> Twos or misses. But but. I'm a small team. Okay, so four hits. Okay. Yeah, they're dead. So Eagle Sham, he ran up there to help take out the 88. It was dead by the time he got there, and then he was just standing there. He was thinking, he almost got over there to, to man the gun. Almost. And I think I got two guys left on the board and a uh, Bren. Well, then. Well, and all those guys, yeah. yeah. Talk about on the hill. I got my Bren carrier. You got two Bren carriers on the hill. Well, one of them is already activated, I believe. Yeah. Let's fire the Bren at the AT rifle right in front of me. So let's say he doesn't get the down since I'm kind of looking right in on him. But he is still a small team. Are you going to go down? Uh, you're getting how many shots? Four. One guy left. Four shots. Oh yeah, one guy left. Yeah. Um, and all I'm getting is a small team. Yep. Yeah, we'll go down. I didn't hit. I wouldn't hit anything anyway. So that's a whiff. All right, next. Germans. <laughs> he was kind of right in the thick of it. The mortar spotter, he's dedicated. He's like, I got a job to do. I don't care what's going I'm on. I'm looking me. this way. I saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, call it in. It's a miss. His mortar on my mortar missed. And uh, Jeff Smith is all I got left. Oh, my Vickers. I got my Vickers left. So my Vickers here will fire just at those guys again. I think I needed a sixes last time. Oh, uh, two hits. Two Man. hits on those guys. What? One dead. Okay. Man. And then, then my last thing is Jeff Smith and his balloon Bren guy. That's Andre. He's still got those guys by the fence. Do I have any other dice? 88's dead. I don't think you have anything left. <laughs> so we're going to call it uh, game over. We're going to say a German victory, narrow German victory, as Andre said. Essentially, what the pro what what's happened is I have two guys left. Um, they're, I don't know, two guys. What are they going to do? Well, they're going to get something. They're going to get assaulted uh, or assaulted. And then I have the Brens, and Andre said I could just drive the Brens around blasting, and but he could recrew the eighty eight. With that squad, probably I don't I don't see why they couldn't all jump on there in one turn, which would give me one turn to fire at them with the Brens before it spun around and took out my Bren. <laughs> I don't know. It's actually pretty a lot closer than I thought it would have been. Oh, it's way closer. Um, um, well, well, we'll I didn't ever thought you'd. Well, yeah, we're not. We'll come back up. and we'll do a, <laughs> We'll come back and wrap it up. So that's it. Yeah, back to wrap it up. So it's. I think the. It worked okay. I think there's obviously some rules tweaks that could be done. Like the Bren section, I think how it how we played it. I didn't go into a lot in a lot of detail in the briefing. I pretty much just said that they can both activate on a dice, but I never really said what the other dice. I think I just said he didn't do anything. But I like the idea of having them being able to rally. Yeah. Because that keeps them moving. That's the thing with this game is. You start getting pins and everything just bogs down. It's yep. just too hard to pull. Yep. I like the idea of having an, a Bren section or two two dice like the 88 that you can do extra stuff with to make things uh, It made a big better. difference for them. Yeah, so I, I, I like the Bren section rule. Uh, that could be something we just use all the time as a house rule is if you bring two Brens, they each get a dice. And if you take some pins and you have the extra dice left, you can rally. And that just makes everything more fluid and move better. And same with the 88. The 88, uh, I was a little worried about it at the beginning, but um, smoked, it out. smoked it out. I should have did that earlier, but I didn't want to do that too early because I knew that was pretty much going to take it out of the game. I wanted it to get some shots. <laughs> it did get one shot. It took out half of Purple Smith's section. Not Matilda. It's all in the Matilda. And it had multiple opportunities to take out those Brens. <laughs> that was the turning point of the game. First, the Bren charge. So like Steve said, that mad rush by the Brens, which I had no choice. I had to get up there. I just took a risk, and it paid I, off because you whiffed. Yeah, I was actually surprised you didn't uh, just stick to the road and stay behind the smoke. I couldn't stick to the road because I got the 
the Matilda wreck. Well, you came around it, but you could have... Yeah, but it would have taken me another turn to maneuver back onto the road. Yeah, but you'd have stayed in the smoke, but... Yeah. Um, no, me whiffing there, I mean, that was, God, that was a set of bad rolls. Uh, well, you got the one hit, and then you got a one. Yeah. And then you hit again and penetrated, then roll the one again. So I just took some shock, and that was it. Yeah. And then it seems like I had some other whiffs in that uh, vicinity. But <laughs> I think you had uh, a whiff with the uh, AT those rifle. Those were the really big ones. Yeah, I think the AT rifle whiffed a couple times, too. So. Uh, yeah, so, but, yeah, other, I guess my, my really frustrating whiff was uh, forgetting that you can't leave a unit out in the open in this game. Well, you didn't leave them. They failed an order at one point. You were gonna no, I, I left them down to oh. clear the shock. Oh, yeah. Um, you were no, gonna, that was just totally right. self-inflicted. I were, just you forgot. Were, you were on the route. You were on on route to going back to the hill. That's right. Yeah, I could have totally. Uh, I could have pulled them back, or you know, covered them with an ambush, or you know, I could have done a lot of things. It just never occurred to me that uh, I, them getting assaulted was gonna. And as soon as you said it, it's like, oh yeah, this is the game where <laughs> you're screwed. If you uh, leave them in the open, they just vaporize. Yeah, and that was. I think that I was fairly confident of winning that assault because I was going to <laughs> Fairly confident. Well, you're veterans. I had to roll a lot of fives. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't, well. I've lost to veterans. I, I've lost to smaller veteran squads with regular yeah. squads well, and it, lots I, of times. I've lost Gurkhas in an assault before, but, uh, you know. And I lost veteran grenadiers against Andre, or, uh, Steve's um, free conscripts. In this game. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much sealed that game. <laughs> that could be a turning point. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the rules. I think uh, I like the rules. I think uh, if I was to tweak them a little bit, I don't know. Well, like I had a lot saying, of ideas mid game, but now that I look back on it, it I don't know if it's just the if the rules were good or it just happened to work out like this. It's hard to tell sometimes if hey the rules were balanced or everything all the rules came out in such a way that it made it appear balanced <laughs> and maybe having that veteran section not be veteran um maybe not removing it completely but not having it be a veteran section um yeah but i mean it's that's still a lot point. of stuff dug in on a hill and bottom line that's just so hard to you know but if you're or maybe it's just uh you know a, a seven turn clock um, it was supposed to be eight, so we would have had two more turns, but it's taken a long time, and I think in the end, I don't know. Well, the thing is, you've got to, be interesting um, to find out if if you're able to just sit back and ping away with you know the mortars and some HE um, at me. I don't have any. Well, yeah, you <laughs> really. Well, you got that you that shot with the mortar on the first shot. Yeah. That was uh, that was really harsh because. All of a sudden, well, um, the smoke saved your ass. Because <laughs> I would just kept bombarding it, that put that smoke there pretty much. No, what? Uh, oh, he killed the spotter. That's I, right. I took the spotter out. Yeah, that's um, what it was. Which, if I hadn't have done that, um, yeah, that was yeah, the best I can keep recruiting, but um, yeah, that was just an attrition clock that. And that's that was part of the the design of the scenario is that if you were, I kind of thought about what would happen if you did get hit by a mortar. And the idea was you were going to bleed guys. It's going to be hard for me to hit you, but by the time I got there, your crew, your guys, your squads would be a little bit smaller just from recruiting the eighty-eight, which yeah. would give me a chance when I got there. But uh, yeah, anyway, it was a. I liked it. I thought it was pretty fun. I think we need to do a chain of command version of this as well, and I think we will next week. Uh, rip to the Matilda. I think that's the first thing the eighty-eight's taken out, uh, armored vehicle-wise, since I got it. No, it uh, did it's, a nice job on it. Oh man, it didn't stand a chance. It went right through it. Those, uh, well, it went right through that brink carrier lot, too. Uh, tougher, but uh, no, I think what happened there was the shell just went right through the <laughs> brink. It didn't even hit anything. It just kind of passed right through it like a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, this video is probably getting damn long, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So yeah, uh, thanks to Andre and Steve coming over, being bag man, and uh, check out our Patreon page and our Facebook group. And with that. We'll sign off and say thanks for watching. See you next time.